Hey everyone, and here I'm going to show you how to set up app limits for any application on your iPhone. An app limit is like a limit to make sure that you don't use certain apps longer than you intend. That is, you can set up that you want to use Instagram for 15 minutes a day or pretty much any other time or any other app. Well, the way that is set up uh, in the, the settings is that it's under the screen time. So you go to the settings and the screen time is here with this hourglass clock. So uh, you open it up and you can see you have to turn on a screen time at first. So you get a weekly report with insights about your screen time and you can set limits. If you want to know like detailed information about it, here is the page that shows up when you update to like a new version of iOS and it just explains what's really going on with it. It just needs to know in the time that you spend. Right now, if you have the screen time turned off, it doesn't track the time that you spend like browsing Instagram or doing anything in any app. So you need to turn it on. It's going to show you the page once again and you need to turn on a screen time and just set up a couple of different things. If you want to do it for your child, then there are some different settings because you, of course, set up, uh, you have a password and make sure that you protect it with password so your kids like don't go around it. But let's say that this is your iPhone and you're going to go like this, wait a bit. And now it just starts tracking your daily average, your week times and anything like that. There are also two parts or two ways how you can um, like turn off or set up app limits. The first one is here and literally says app limits and the second one is downtime. So let's first take a look at app limits. You click on here and you need to click on add limit because that's the only button. Tap on it and it's going to show you all of the apps and even it, it just organizes them in a category. So that's important. For example, if you want to like limit all your social media, just tap on it and all apps that you have from the social media are gonna be part of the list. For me, it's just messages and FaceTime because I only have like the built-in apps right now. Anyway, you can even search for them. So right now you can even see messages and it's gonna show in here, it's in the social. Anyway, I'm gonna turn it on and let's say that I also wanna add some games. I don't have any or entertainment, for example, I don't wanna like watch too much Apple TV. So these two apps and click on next. Now let's set up how much time I want to spend doing them. So it's going to be one hour every single day. I can even customize the days. So perhaps on a weekend, I want to just uh, have like three hours and the same for Sunday because I got nothing to do on weekend, for example. Now add and this is going to be the limit. So now because I've set it up together, it means that I have the combined time of one hour a day for these two apps. So uh, that's really important to know because, for example, you can set set up apps individually. So right now, if I set FaceTime, I can just add one hour again. It's going to be like another thing. It's FaceTime. Now it's messages and TV. So I have one hour combined for these two or and one hour for just the FaceTime. So you can set it up together and it doesn't matter which app you use more and which one less or just set it up for one app. And now what's going to happen? is that, I mean, just for the sake of it, let's just set it up for one minute and hit done. And of course we have one minute on FaceTime. Now I'm gonna turn turn on FaceTime and I immediately get the notification that five minutes remaining for FaceTime today or less than five minutes. So whenever you're browsing your app and let's say you have one hour for messages, before the time runs out, it's going to show you that you have five minutes left just so you can get the stuff done that you need. And uh, then you can actually move on to do something else. And you know that you're about to like have to finish using the app. And uh, this is what it looks like when you run out of your time. This is my calendar and I set up one more time limit for five minutes. I've run out of it. And now you have like two options. It's going to tell you that You've reached your limit, so you can hit OK. It's going to get you out of it. You can see the hourglass next to calendar and that the icon is like grayed out. You shouldn't click on it. I mean, you can, however, but it's going to tell you the same thing. Or you have the ignore limit button, which shows you multiple options. So one more minute, it's going to give you a chance to like quickly do something that you did not do. 
and remind me in 15 minutes or ignore limit for today. So if you just choose choose one more minute, it's gonna allow you to like keep on using the app for one more minute. But next time you hit here, you'll only be left here with remind me in 15 minutes and ignore limit. So one more minute is only available once. Well, you should also know the, uh, some other things about it. You can set up screen time passcode. That means that when you set it up, it can be anything you want. So you're going to go like this, let's say a password, some recovery and some things like that. Well, this means that any changes that you want to perform will not be uh, granted to you. So you always need the passcode and yeah, it's like parental control or something. Yeah, it's definitely a good thing. So you should keep that in mind as well. Anyways, of course, you cannot turn it off as well because you need to type it in and type in the passcode or something. Plus, one more thing that you can set up is called the downtime. It's pretty much a way to, de to disable most of your apps except for those that you want to keep and have allowed all the time. So it's not like limiting apps to one specific or like a group of them, but to most of them. So let me show you what that means. So downtime, you can turn it on right now. And if you come back, like none of the none of the things are clickable you cannot really use anything only like the base apps that you chose so you can see always allowed these are the apps that will work all the time no matter what even in the downtime but you can also schedule it and also change the time because people usually just want to set it up for the night just so they can sleep in peace. So that's also another way to, to think about it. So that would be pretty much it. If you want to know how to turn off, do not disturb while driving. Whenever that annoys you, make sure to check out this video right here and you're going to find out exactly how you can do it.